Hi there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltech Australia and this is how to install an all-in-one water cooler. For this tutorial we will be using our 240mm water 3.0 AIO and we'll be installing it onto an AMD CPU. Also, just remember that if you're using a different AIO or an Intel chip, your installation may differ in a few areas. First, begin by taking out all the parts. It's also a good idea to keep the installation guide handy so you can check with it when you need. In this tutorial, I will be upgrading this PC stock cooler with our Water 3.0. If this is also your situation, first use a screwdriver to remove the graphics card so you can have easier access to the motherboard. Now lie the system flat, as your next step will be to remove the stock cooler by loosening the screws which hold it in place. Next, use something like isopropyl alcohol and a cloth to remove all the old thermal paste from the CPU. The order of the next few sections is somewhat down to personal preference, but we think it best to start by placing the fans onto the radiator. First, determine which direction you want your fan cables to face, as you want them to travel the least amount of distance out to the back of your case to eventually plug in. You also want to decide which direction you want your AIO's tubes to run to the water block. Usually, you want to keep them out of the way and ensure it won't clash with your back exhaust fan. Now, using the supplied longer screws, begin to screw in your fans. We've gone with screwing them in using a diamond pattern, but there really isn't a set order. Once both fans are secure, it's time to move on to the water block. This is where things will differ for you depending on your CPU and motherboard. If yours is an AM4 socket like mine, you're going to want to go with the circular bracket as shown. First, place this thumb screw through the upward part of the first bracket and then screw it into the loop. A good idea is to do it only up halfway, as the slack will be a lifesaver later. Thread this over the water block, ensuring the screwed on side is at the top. Next, grab the circular bracket and thread that over the water block too. Now this is where the fun slash pain begins. You must line up the four sections with the first bracket and tuck them under it. Don't be worried if this takes a little while and causes a lot of frustration. A pro tip is to grab a flathead screwdriver and use that to help nudge them under, as they can be super finicky. You'll be able to tell once all four have slid under properly, as the brackets will be fixed in place around the water block. Now that that nightmare is over, I'm taking off the back panel of my case to put in the back bracket, which came out when I removed the original stock cooler. You might not have to do this, but if you do, just remember that the brackets on the front need to be pointing away from the CPU. So now it's time for the actual installation. If you haven't already, release all the many wires from their cable ties. Figure out exactly where you want your radiator to eventually sit, as well as thinking about what the easiest path would be for your wires to travel out to the back of your case. Thread all your wires through, and then basically follow the wires to move your radiator up to where you will mount it. Now, using the smaller screws, screw it in. Lay your PC flat, as it's now time to put your water block on. There's no need to worry about thermal paste for any of our Thermaltech AIOs, as they all come with it pre-applied. Bring your water block down over your CPU, hitching the bottom over the bracket here that was installed earlier. You then do the same for the top. If you didn't screw the thumb screw all the way in earlier, hopefully this is easier for you than it may have been. <laughs> Next, there are two cables coming from the water block itself to worry about. The smaller one connects to the pump fan header if your motherboard has one. If not, a system fan header will also work. The longer one you thread out the back with the other RGB cables. Now it's cable time. Separate all your power cables from your RGB ones just to make life a little easier. You can daisy chain up all the RGB cables by connecting them to one another. Then the single remaining cable goes into the back section here. Find the closest opening and thread the wires back through before inserting them into fan ports. Do a little cable management to tidy everything up. Tuck them away with it. And if you need to, put back in your GPU. And with that, you're done. You have successfully installed an AIO. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, let us know in the comments what how-to video you'd like us to film next for you. See you in the next one.